so yeah i want to make a quick video on all of these like internet alpha males saying oh universe is a scam and instead you should do this and that and i do think their view is a bit narrow-minded i don't think there's a full problem with their view and i'm going to get into like the merits of it and all of that but i do think you should like hear another view on it for once so they're often promoting that you must do like some other business model whether it's like start a youtube channel or drop shipping or whatever like cause or cold calling or whatever cause they're selling and of course this is like biased to them because then they're going to get money from you buying their causes and all of that but i think they're also missing another important element there are some of us myself included who are just naturally more academically gifted this is not to say we can't do like the youtube channel as i am doing anyway or drop shipping or any of those things but it is also a matter of focusing on your strengths that's not to say you can't develop any other strengths either so what's my view on this now and what I think you should do? If you're similar to me where you are like excelling at academics, university, high school, whatever the case is, then still pursue the um, university route. What I think you should do though to like cover all scenarios is still do other things on the side. So like as I've done here, I've started a YouTube channel, I do freelancing on the side, it's like a video editor, I do coding on the side, all of those things. So then you have like a wide portfolio of stuff going on. Because if you have like any business insights, if you like investing in like shares or if you know what shares are, but don't worry about that too much, you want a diverse portfolio. And what that means is you want to spread your risk across a wide range of things. In that way, you like covering all scenarios and at the end of it all, probably gonna receive a high income or in this case, just profits or money or whatever the case is. Now through just doing like YouTubers course, firstly, you're paying money to them and you probably don't have the money right now in all honesty. So you're giving all your savings away for this cause. In giving that savings away, you are now close to broke and there's no guarantee you're going to get any return from it. Of course they want to say that you can get a return from it and you might. But the thing is, by more and more people buying these courses, that market's been saturated. Through that market being saturated, there's obviously less opportunities, less like likelihood of you making it. Same thing's happening with YouTube. Maybe I got into this on the wrong foot, but I've now started it, so I want to start something, I just continued, it's one of the six. Um, and I am also do think if you constantly improving yourself and looking to become better, even within a saturated market, you can make it, but I want to talk about that sort of mindset a bit later. So now going back to this whole thing of diversifying your risks. Through getting the university degree, obviously you probably plan on working like an office job or something along those lines. But that doesn't mean you can't continue these things on the side. Because if you think about it, an office job is 8 to 5. You, fair enough, might be commuting for one hour to work and one hour back. So that becomes like a 7 to 6. But that still means that you've only now spent 11 hours like on the work side. Throw in some hours for gym and all of that. And you still have 2 hours of your day left. That 2 hours put into this. I mean, if you look at what I'm doing with YouTube at the moment. I have recorded and well, uploaded a video rather every single day for the past four months and I've honestly spent about two hours on this a week. Granted I'm not like a fast growing channel or anything like that but it is ticking over and I genuinely do believe it is going to take off pretty soon. I've seen some nice growth lately and I think it's going to continue. I've changed my style of videos a bit as well. And that's the sort of thing I'm talking about now of adjusting to the market and becoming better and better because as you also practice more and more you naturally get better i have put like some directed effort into becoming a better youtuber like speaking better being more relatable and just like going deeper into my story so yes that was intentional but if you take a look at my first video and look at now i'm speaking much more freely much more openly and all of that and yes a lot of that is intentional like actually now i'm thinking about the fact that i'm speaking more openly which is probably not a good thing but Yes, that has intentional elements, but I think it's also important to note that it is also coming from a matter of just practicing. The more and more YouTube videos are recorded, the more freely I'm going to flow, and so it's going to carry on. So I also do want to now talk about that side of things. Start today with this YouTube channel, which I still do think is a viable option, obviously. By me doing this, I'm creating more um, competition for myself, but I need to also give my honest inputs on everything. So I do think YouTube is a viable option for like another six to 12 months or so to like enter the market. But then do the other stuff they talk about, so like dropshipping and all of that. If you have the money to buy the courses, buy the courses. 
personally, that's just me, I think their causes are mostly scams. Even though um, Hamza made like a big video recently criticizing him, I do think his cause, the lot I've seen, is useful. My problem with that though is he's changed into a man who's like almost looking for to his like cult leader vibe or all that for people to worship him. So as much as he gives value, he's also making you like submissive to him and I don't know where that's gonna end up. So that's my take on his thing. If you remain aware of the fact that he's probably making you like submissive to him and you oh sorry, it's for some walk by but if you're aware of the fact that you make him like submissive to him and all of that and you like find a way to look past that then fair enough i do believe that hamza's cause can be of benefit other than he's though i would stay away from any of those things um sorry bros i keep looking out there's a lot of traffic happening here. um other than that I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm also going to be working on my own course. I actually already am, but I haven't released it yet. Won't be releasing it anytime soon. But the conflict I'm also sitting with now is, am I providing you the best value for money? At this point, no. My free videos, of course, you're paying your time, but I do think it's worth your time. I do want to make a course that's worth your money. So, pff, wait a while for my course, I'm being honest. Also, I need to build up an audience, so that's another thing holding me back. But, I mean, I can always release the course and just wait for the orders to come afterwards so i do have that option but i don't see it happening for another i don't know why but i have like five months in mind so if you really like my style then fortunately my calls are going to be coming a bit later but you would notice if you go like to my main page i have a patreon where i have some like unfolded videos that i wouldn't post onto youtube um i do have that planned i haven't shot any as of now but i actually would start shooting them as soon as like my patreon um gains some traction it's five dollars a month um nothing major but obviously also help support me especially if it like piles up but anyway that's going to like another s section now and i'm um, do a bit of sales pitch annoyingly but in terms of where i think you should be now if you excel academically do the university degree but at the same time, work on other stuff. And this doesn't mean you need to spend every day on it either. Obviously, if you can, do it. But if you can only spend one day a week, spend that one day a week and build it up. As the YouTube works nice from that perspective, you'll notice all my videos are like unedited or close to unedited. So as a result of that, it's as easy as me to pick up my camera, record a video, upload it. So that takes me, honestly, on a weekly basis, two hours to like record and maybe an additional hour for like thumbnails if I even make them, I typically don't. Um, I don't think, I don't know, but thumbnails doesn't really add to your views from what I've been having. So yeah, but I think I've covered like a lot of things. Now I've gone a bit of a tangent. I'll see you in the next one, bro. It's becoming a bit man.